Hi everyone and welcome back to DiabetesDietGuide.com or if you're watching on YouTube, welcome again. So actually today we're getting off diet for a change because I had a question on the Facebook page which was asking about steroid induced diabetes or actually perhaps you already have diabetes and have gone onto a course of steroids and it has thrown your blood sugars all over the place. And there's a very good reason for this and that is because steroids make your body much more insulin resistant which means your insulin is still there, but it's not working as well. So this is something that we commonly see in type two diabetes when we talk about insulin resistance. So the message of insulin is um, not really being heard by the body, so glucose levels start to rise. So what do we need to do? We need to provide more insulin than normal circumstances would dictate in order to get glucose levels under wraps. And as I say, this can happen in any form of diabetes and in some people it can actually induce diabetes where previously there was no diabetes before. So just drawing it out here. So the black line is what you'd see with normal glucose levels. And as you can see, actually, and I think this is probably something that people don't really think about, glucose levels do actually go up and down in people without diabetes. Don't get me wrong, they'll stay within a pretty um, defined range, usually between sort of four, maybe a little bit below, and nine, and after meals when they are getting a bit higher, they'll be back to that sort of four to seven range pretty sharply. Um, but they do go up and down, it's not a flat line. Whereas in, with steroids, what you find is there's almost a latent effect with them. So when you take them, which for those will usually be breakfast and lunch, typically speaking, um, it means the rise will take some time to be seen because the steroids need to kick in. So actually often we see in the hospital, uh, the glucose levels upon waking and maybe even at lunch are okay, but then the rise comes by the evening meal or later into the night. And when I'm talking about steroids, I'm not talking about replacement doses. So if you're someone who's taken a small dose of something like hydrocortisone, just to replace what your body would usually be producing, that shouldn't cause this effect because you have no more extra steroids in your body compared to someone who doesn't have to take hydrocortisone in small doses to get that effect. So actually um, you have the same amount of steroids in the body in those instances. But when you start getting the big hitters into the equation like prednisolone or dexamethasone, things can start to change and particularly if you're on high doses. So what can we do about it? Now obviously you can see with the rise with the steroids, if you start eating very high carbohydrate foods, um, lots of starch, and maybe pudding and sugar, you're only gonna exacerbate this issue, okay? And also at dinner. So maybe you, a dietary, uh, some, some dietary um, interventions can have a part to play, but usually we approach this that diet isn't really going to make too much difference because it's the steroids causing this. So just to grab a pen here. So what do we do about this in a hospital setting? So I can only speak from experience. Now, we don't really want to be trying to treat it here because the rise has already happened. So what we often tend to do is try and offset this rise before it happens by intervening around here. So typically we might start people on a intermediate acting insulin, something like Insulatard or Human and I, and there are other variations, um, to then nicely match this rise before it happens. So although there still might be some rise, it won't be exacerbated as if there was nothing there. And the question I had was, what can the, this individual do to stop this happening in themselves? And really there's not a great deal. It really does come down to your medical team to help you figure out the best uh, medication and treatment plan in order to stop this happening. And it's really important then to have the data for them to present to see what the glucose levels are doing if you're not already recording this or they're not recording it. So ideally a waking fasting breakfast reading to see if it's coming back overnight when the steroids tend to die off in your system. Um, and as a bare minimum, at least one at dinner, um, but ideally getting uh, a bit more of a full profile breakfast, lunch, dinner, evening, um, testing before the meals to just see what that pattern is. I guess the other thing to emphasize is this doesn't happen in everyone. So not everyone on steroids automatically goes on to see hyperglycemia and high glucose levels. But if you are seeing that, go see your medical team, ask them about this because 
it can make you feel a bit rotten and obviously high glucose levels isn't where the body likes to be might make you pee might make you thirsty um, and start to see those day-to-day -day effects of diabetes and if this is a chronic problem over the long term then some of those long-term complications with diabetes can start to manifest but typically this tends to be a bit more of an acute problem okay so that's generally how we would manage it like i say there is some place for diet potentially um, but it's really about trying not to make the problem even worse by having lots of sugar and lots of carbohydrate but i'm also assuming with um on this uh, with, with this that you're not a patient that's seen a huge amount of weight loss as a result of a particular disease um, or condition cancer is usually being the big one so we don't want to be restricting your diet if you're seeing a huge amount of weight loss and saying you can't eat this and you can't eat that in that instance just eat what you want and the medical team can hopefully intervene to help um, sort out this problem with the high glucose levels so i hope that answers the question um like i say very quick video so if you've got any questions or comments just post them below the video whether it's on facebook or on youtube um, or just get in touch and i will be happy to answer them all right so i'll see you next time and uh, have a good day